This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you supporting us at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Katie, would you like to start us off with the theme music? Da, 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 da. We're awesome. You're awesome. Things are awesome. We love technology, good and bad. Things are awesome. Let's talk about them. It's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgish on the Twitter in the in a hotel room in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Once again, um, I, I don't know if I, I've, I'm sure I broadcast from here last year when I did this event because it lasts all week, no matter what version we do. Or I guess two years ago when we did this. But thank you, Dutters, for that rousing rendition of what is now apparently our new theme song i'm just going to cut that out put it to a fat beat and that's our new theme we've been using rattler for a while i don't even know if it's still pod safe i don't even know if there's still a rattler i don't even know what a rattler is so we'll, we'll see what happens with that but this is the awesome cast episode 548 zoomy zoom edition if things look different if things sound different i did not sound check to ask you guys if i sound like a chipmunk Okay, I guess I guess we don't, or you're don't just tell not them. telling me, and I'm going to find out later and be like, oh no, this is the weirdest episode ever. So, uh, with me, first of all, of course, from Studio C in the Big D of Dormont, PA, is John Chichilla, our gadget guru at International Esquire Bank. What the hell? That's all good. It's I been a long couple of days. Too. I'm I'm part of all of the internationals and all yes, of the banks I'm, and it, all of the. It'll be a new one every 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 week. So it'll be, it'll be like the intro to the Simpsons. How you doing, good sir? I'm doing fine, thanks. The one with the best uh, camera always. Like I'm. I mean, uh, I, you know, it was funny because I was playing around with the the multi cam, and we were doing the we were showing the over the shoulder shot, and I'm like wow this camera does look really good i need like four more of them <laughs> dude hey no i know that why do you think i know i have four canon vixias right because i'm like this really works for what we do we need them for everything you know <laughs> so, mm-hmm. <laughs> like something like that um no i, I you know I'm with, I'm with the same thing um it, it, it's yeah yeah uh, hold on i'm trying to i'm trying to pull up my live and see if my my mother's in the chat room because i'm sure she's interested wicked my dog my dog is i'm not i haven't seen my dog for since since wednesday and uh my mom's giving me a check up on a check in on the uh on the uh chat room so say hi hi wicked my my dog so also with us as we mentioned our um the voice of an angel if you will <laughs> <laughs> obviously obviously uh the daughter is how you doing Good, good. I'm you are, back. Uh, yeah, you are back from your adventures and your uh, putt putt world tour. Yes, yes. I, I love, I love observing the putt putt. I did not play the putt putts, but I observed the putt putt. Observe the putt putt. I'm a wa- <laughs> listen. I'm a watcher, not a player. <laughs> You're like a putt putt wallflower, right? Yes. I, I will watch and enjoy you. You know, you have your enjoyment, but I would not have good enjoyment by myself playing the putt putts. <laughs> Or, I, you know, because, I, cause, you know, we, we share, I was like, hey, I found a Pirate Cove, which apparently everybody we know has played at that Pirate yeah. Cove in Orlando, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and I'm just like, you know what, if I had like another like hour before my, you know, wanting to get to my flight, like, I, I think I'd play this. <laughs> but... Yes, I, the uh, Ocean City, Maryland uh, putt putt scene was very interesting to me. Mm-hmm. Definitely for sure. Like as far as like checking them out and seeing the different um, themes, I guess you would use. Is the yes. Word. <laughs> yes, absolutely. What is this about rescue rangers in the chat room that's going on right now? Oh, I have no idea. They asked if left? you were if you were Chip or Dale when you were talking about being a chipmunk. Oh. And I said you are the rescue ranger. <laughs> okay. Chip and Dale. Oh, <laughs> and that's what gets us pulled off of every platform. Um, yep. Anyways, so this is the awesome cast. You can check out everything awesome and we will get on here around 7 p.m. Eastern time almost every week. Um, 
thunderstorms and event details and precautions um, almost made us go even later. And then I didn't realize I did not have an extra hour that I thought I did to set up. So here we are. Um, you can check it out there, uh, everything there. Uh, hit us up at awesomecast.sorgashawmedia.com for any inquiries you have about the show. Uh, and tweet us at awesomecast. Hit up the Facebook page and the Facebook group for Awesomecast. A lot of great discussion happened there for the week. Um, and, of course, subscribe, rate us on your favorite podcast app and watch the video versions on Facebook and YouTube afterwards. Uh, also, you can subscribe to the Sorgatron Media Master Feed to get this and other fine podcasts out there. And you can also, uh, you know, ask your voice thing to play the Awesome Cast podcast. The voice thing, yes, that's right. Your, your, your Echo or your Google Home. And uh, of course, thanks to our audio partners at the at Postindustrial. Dot com and thank you to our Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Our friends at the Coffee Club level, Matt Weller, John DeGore, uh, John Carmen, Cynthia Klosky, a shift collaborative, Scott McTaggart of the Pitchworks Podcast, and at the Fan Show level, Michael Fedor, pghmuseums.org, Professor Buzzkill of that fine podcast, and Dave Ponder of the iPhoneography Podcast. And of course, again, you guys can support the show and make sure we can pay our Zoom account to still do these remote shows at patreon.com slash awesome cast. So let's get into <laughs> let's get into our awesome things of the week. We started talking about it momentarily, but Katie, let's let, tell us tell tell us about your vacation and do you have slides? <laughs> I did not prepare <laughs> slides for my vacation. I apologize in advance. Um, but I just got back from Ocean City, Maryland, which is a Yinzer outpost, in case you didn't know that. This is a, a location that Yinzers like to frequent, which I learned all of our friends and everybody I know has been there. <laughs> oh, so you're like me with my Orlando stops on the on the way through. Oh, yeah, I, I was getting all kinds of suggestions for restaurants and places I had to visit, which I loved and appreciated. But I, I didn't, I don't think there was, it wasn't until a couple days in that I actually said where I was. And people guessed it from my photos, which was pretty exciting. <laughs> I loved awesome. it. <laughs> That's awesome. Did you go to Big Peckers? <laughs> what? No, I didn't. I saw them. I, I, I did not. I, it was funny. I was coming back from the um, Shipwreck Museum, and I saw it, and I was like, bah! <laughs> Big Peckers. We, st we stay right across the street from there. It, it, it's now the Kokomo, and it used to be the Beachmark. We'll be there in August. Very nice. See, we all go there. It's a very cool mm -hmm. place to go. And uh, I went on my trip by myself. It was a solo excursion, which if you tell people you are going on vacation by yourself, they will ask you what is wrong. Um, <laughs> uh, make sure, you know, remind you repeatedly to be safe. Um, it was just kind of funny to me that it wasn't, I, I don't know, like I, I didn't think it was that big a deal. I just needed to go to a beach by myself. And you know what, when you go on a solo vacation, you get to do whatever you want, whenever you want. And it's phenomenal. You mm -hmm. know, you want to get this for dinner, you go there and get that for dinner. You decide to take an afternoon nap, doesn't matter. You don't have to arrange shower times. You can do it whenever you want or not shower at all. Nobody cares. You're by yourself. <laughs> and uh, I, you know, we, we, we enjoy the weird things um, around here. And uh, I definitely made a few stops that probably, I mean, I don't think everybody would be interested in. Uh, made a short drive to Berlin maryland which is the cutest town on earth it's they actually used it for uh tuck tuck everlasting and runaway bride both film scenes there which i learned um i visited the mermaid museum and learned about the history of mermaids which i enjoyed immensely um but yeah it was um it was a very fun trip for me and i enjoyed seeing all of the weird things that i had to check out the discover sea uh shipwreck museum um atlas obscura i'm not sure if you're familiar with that uh the site and they have a book out too. Um, they list um, different places that are kind of weird and off the beaten path. Um, and I found the Discover Sea under, under the uh, Shipwreck Museum on Atlas Obscura, which was pretty cool. Um, and the thing that sold me was they have a Fiji mer mermaid, which is the half, usually uh, monkey and half fish mermaid that mm -hmm. like Barnum used to do. And they also had part of a, a walrus penis bone um then that sold me uh so i had to visit that place and <laughs> uh -huh. oh oh you reminded me of something i need to take our crew since we're up here near the penis tower of ypsilanti so oh, yeah. yeah that's gonna happen in the next couple of nights for sure nice but yeah so in like the the undersea the shipwreck museum had literally things that they had found in shipwrecks and i got to see 
gold coins and um, very old things that they had found. And they explained what they were used for, which was a really cool history thing, mm-hmm. which was very surprising. Um, but yeah, so it's a solo vacation. If you can do it, I would suggest it. So with uh, the traveling that I'm doing, uh, usually in this time of year, I kind of get like a mini day solo vacation like mm-hmm. that. Like I, I, yeah, I came into Orlando, uh, was that Thursday morning, got an early flight because one, they're cheaper typically. And, and, um, you have less problems as I discovered Sunday night with my flight here up here through, through via Detroit. Um, and uh, went and saw a rocket, another rocket launch, a SpaceX launch over at Cape Canaveral went through just trying to decide where to go. I ended up at Disney Springs again. Um, I feel like I stopped somewhere else too, but yeah, it's like, it's that kind of vibe. It's just like, oh man, you know, I'm not going to Disney, but like I went right by the entrance and stuff and you're getting like that near experience. And then on the way back, I had a few hours to kill and I got a, I got a, um, a Norm Connors, who's an old wrestling promoter here in, here in, or not here. Where am I? Uh, in, um, <laughs> in Pittsburgh, um, recommended, oh, what was it? It was like the two, two cafe, something two, two cafe. Um, and it was, a, it was where I found the pirate cove thing. And it was like art everywhere, all over this place. It was a tapas bar, which is the small plate thing. Right. And they had fresca drinks, non-alcoholic. And they actually had, I didn't realize cause they, they sat me down. And then when I went to the bathroom, like there were people like doing art and stuff, you know, it was like, it was really cool. And that's just something I could just able to tack onto a work trip. And the, that's that's now and now I have Missy with me on this trip, <laughs> so we can actually do things together. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but no, I I definitely recommend that. Uh, you know, even for a couple of days, and, and and I know, it, and you, I mean, you said like you, you, it was a good mind clear, and just you know, there's it, it gets rid of the static, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's awesome, Chilla. What is your awesome thing of the week? Chilla is muted. I believe. I'm muted. Yes. There we go. Do you need me to share my screen? If you would like and have the ability to, that would be great. Oh, host. I can't. You disabled <gasps> participant screen oh, sharing. Oh, yeah. You know what? Uh, those Wrestling Mayhem Show crew, I, I, I can't give that power to them. You know what <laughs> I mean? Power. I could you Could you think? I mean, I mean, could you, I mean, Katie, you know, uh, so hold on. Let me, oh, let me, I can't imagine what they would try to share. I can't remember how to share my, oh, it's, it's right in the middle. Okay. Here we go. All right. So Chilla, you have a little thing here. What oh, am wow. I looking at? Do you like that? Interesting. There it is. There it, it just is. went, it just went full screen. Yes, it does that. Um, yes. <clears throat> so mine is. WWDC kicked off this week. We got a oh. number of announcements about, you know, the next Mac OS, the next iPhone or iOS, iPad OS, TV OS, all the OSs. Um, no new hardware from, from what I read. I unfortunately did not get to watch the WWDC event yet. But one of the things that was very interesting to me was what's called universal control. Um, Universal control will allow you to take two Mac OS, actually up to three Mac OS or iOS devices, put them next to each other. You move your cursor to the edge of the screen um, from a mouse perspective and poof, your cursor is on the other device. Um, How this works is it starts off as a Bluetooth connection and then as it initiates it it's kind of based on how handoff and things like that work, but then mm-hmm. it converts it over to a Wi-Fi direct. Um, for me, I can look left and I have one, two, three, four, four keyboards, a trackpad, two mice, not including the mouse and keyboard that's in front of me. Um, that's because I am also surrounded by radi- radiation and multiple devices. Um, so this will actually, I'm really looking forward to this because and I, I can't mm-hmm. flip to the other shop, but I have an iPad here. And then I have an iMac over here. And then you're on this MacBook. And so I would be able be, to use my yeah. mouse and keyboard across all three of them. Well, and- isn't that, isn't that the dream? What did, what were we using? Do you remember at all when you we were in display? Not do at display. There was something we were using for all the PCs. I think I had, and I was oh. sharing a mouse and keyboard across. Because remember Why how many? That? Remember how I had a Skype machine for every individual, and and the the control computer and all these other things. Like I I had like that like you know four 
the computer towers that were that was basically my studio and i could take a mouse over them because they shared over the network right so it's kind of that idea like you your mouse comes over here but you're on that computer when you're on it right yeah i can't remember what it was like the virtual kvm yes yeah yeah so i mean i think there's there was a couple versions of them like o open kvm i feel like it was the name and for a while there was a microsoft version that might have been we might have been synergy using. Synergy, yes, <clears throat> yes. I'm pretty sure I paid for that, <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, it's. I'm sure it's. It's probably still around in some form, but it's in S Y M L E S S dot. So that. So that completely. So so. Say when I'm like doing these remote things, my iPad, which is now dead, like we could, I could sit right here on on the, on the desk, and and that can be my extended control system. Oh, the application. Okay, you got me thinking. You got me thinking. But in the, yeah, I mean, Synergy won't. I don't think works on a on an iPad. But no, 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 no. This or on is the iOS. Big, but that's the big thing. You're throwing the iOS on there, right? Mm-hmm. So that's awesome. But yeah, the, and the and the seamless nature of this. From what and now, I did not load the betas yet. Um, they are only in developer public beta. Will not be available until July. And how do and they perf it, and how do they perform? Because I have not. Uh, I think it's been getting better, but initially I was not happy with Sidecar and how it worked. I felt Sidecar's gotten a little better. Um, okay, like it was. It was hard to do it when I'm like doing anything with video. Like it takes a lot of CPU, it seems. And I got a mm -hmm. rocking i7 here. It's no M1. Yeah, I'm okay, but I'm I'm running an i9. Yeah, and I don't. I run the sidecar and like I tether my <clears throat> tether my device. Right, right. So um, it seems like it's limited. So yeah. that's awesome. Well, my awesome thing is something that saved my bacon today. Uh, so no matter how much you test some things, when you get on site and actually interface and discover how things are going to work, it's not always, it doesn't always work. And you find something that's incompatible with your concept because you didn't realize how something was going to behave when you actually applied it. So my old black magic that I use in the studio intensity shuttle was like, Hey, we don't support this resolution, but the devices we were using insisted on a certain resolution and we could not connect into our machine. The very, 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 very important video feeds that we needed to broadcast today on site. So I was like, what is a consumer way that I could pick up at a Best Buy? And thankfully I have my personal courier, courier service here. <laughs> This is busy is with me. Uh, so I, uh, I, 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 uh, I, I insta missied it uh, <laughs> for curbside. And uh, I picked up a, and where's that screen share? Because I, I, I knew what, like an Elgato would be exactly what I needed. And I found the Cam Link 4K at a local Best Buy. And this is just a USB dongle that brings, like, it's meant for, they're showing the DSLR in the picture. You know, you bring your high-end camera in and, you know, bring it into Zoom. Like that's basically the intention, right? Um, uh, I'm not gonna say inexpensive. It was, I think $120. It was, it had a little bit of a, a, a price off of it, but it's the thing I needed. And it was, it brought in my high-end video mixer, no matter what it was. And uh, everything worked perfectly after we installed this thing today, after the hiccups we did before. And I also, I want to also notice, because I was, I was using as a, um, as a, not a go between, but as a, as a bandaid until we got our hands on this, I was using, I can't remember how to, oh, there we go. Um, you know, if you've been on the show on the Zoom, we have like a feedback loop with a little USB dongle thing. And it's like a $12 one. <laughs> I can tell you this thing murdered my CPU. It, it, you know, everything should have, everything we, listen, we have like 25 cameras over RTSP in this system, plus, plus other things going on graphically, videos, things like that in this, in this vMix. And the CPU was like topping out at 60%. I, I plug in a crappy $12 thing and it just said, nope, you eat, you were getting no help on this. I hope your CPU has some room. 
and it didn't. <laughs> and so, so we had to adjust for that, of course. Um, but no, this thing, this thing takes a lot of the load off of it. And again, if you got that fancy camera, or if you're using these things where, um, um, not, not to get into it here, but there's uh, apps you can get on your iPhone with your really nice camera that will shoot an HDMI feed, you know, not the screen share stuff, but like just your video feed from your lens to your computer. And now it is a camera. Now you can do that, of course, with it. So one, you're gonna have to double dongle this to make it work. And, uh, you know, get your HDMI. Well, I think I got one right here. I got, I got all the dongles right here. You need one of these guys. You need one of these little lightning HDMI and also power things too. So, and then get your Camlink 4K Elgato uh, thingamajiggy at Best Buy and, uh, and and it's good. So again, save my bacon today because I'm not getting the new black magic thing. And I don't know how much more I'm going to get because I keep running into these problems with this equipment. Man, Mac updates murder black magic devices. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. So that is my awesome thing of the week. So we are not, of course, in the studio to uh, enjoy our wonderful sponsor at Slice on Broadway, but uh, we are, um, of course, uh, looking to for those fine, fine local pizza places as we're on the road. But I know a lot of you are on Pittsburgh, in on Pittsburgh, in Pittsburgh. It's on Long Island. It's in Pittsburgh, and that's with an H. Thank you. Um, but check out our friends at Slice on Broadway, sliceonbroadway.com. Yins are made New York City style. Uh, they got a lot of great stuff going on. I think they had a visit by a beast band last week. Uh, so that's a Wrestling Mayhem show reference, and I'm on the wrong show, and I need more sleep. So go check out our friends, sliceonbroadway.com. So um, so here's here's a fun fact. I did not put the doc together, nor have I read it because I walked in hooked up and here we are. But once not only did she provide our extra special new theme song, uh, she uh, Katie also did the doc. So I'm going to defer to you on what we talk about next. Ooh, I have something for video games. Let's talk about Playdate. Okay. Um, yeah, are you familiar with the Playdate? It was supposed to come out in 2019 and it didn't, it was, you know, pushed <gasps> out to 2020, then <gasps> pandemic, yes. Wait, Playdate. is this the one with the crank? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It's the oh. crank. Yeah, I know. So um, they uh, played it is by Panic, and they did the un was it Untitled Goose Game, and they've done okay. a few other few other fun things. So today they did release an update um, for the games that are going to be coming out for because um, the pre orders start soon. They start next month. And um, yeah, so Playdate's a little yellow guy that has a hand crank. It's black and white on the screen. It's definitely got a cute retro look to it. Um, it's 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 thicker than I expected. Well, that's the dock. There's a stereo dock oh. that it connects to. Yeah, that they announced that today. That's one of the things that they announced. And yeah, he's adorable. And a pen. <laughs> the dock. It, essentially, the dock is um, obviously a stereo thing. It's Bluetooth. Uh, you can connect the Playdate to the dock. And they have a curated summer playlist that comes up and it's got really cute, like black and white graphics on it, um, 8-bit graphics. And it also comes with a pen on top because it's got a pen holder in the stock, which is super cool. Um, but they released a lot of the new games and uh, they look like a lot of fun. Um, there's very random, like casual birder. There is this like kind of Tin Man looking game they've and um, they've kind of shown in a few of the videos, executive golf. <laughs> Pick, pack, puck, spell court, uh, zipper, boogie loops, which looks like a dance game. Um, but the way they're going to be doing it, um, if you get this um, play date, they're going to be releasing, they originally were going to release over, a t I think it was a 12 week period, one game per week. Uh, now they're releasing two games per week over 12 week per period. So 24 games, they call it a season. That's why season, they'll refer to it as season one. Um, but yeah, it's, it looks, it's, it does look super cute. It, it is interesting. Cause it's a, it's $180. It's black and white. It looks like it's like that LCD, um, game. Well, not game boy, but like the LCD without the greenness to it, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, is this almost like, uh, uh, um, um, what, what's the Kindle thing? Uh, paper, not paper white, uh, e-ink, 
It looks kind of almost e ink in, in visuals, uh, maybe. Yeah. So, and, uh, but it looks it looks like it has better animation than e ink. Right, it's right. E -ink, but, like but, it, it kind of like it's it's like it flashes. Mm -hmm. Like the 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 refresh rate is extremely low. This reminds it, me of like the game, like the original Game Boy kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It's it's that like it looks like it may be like four colors and all shades of gray. Right. So, but and it amazes it's one hundred and eighty dollars. But it's also like internet connected, and, and it's it's got a little bit more. Go and also, it's a very niche thing too. It's not like it's being mass produced like a Nintendo Game Boy. So, um, no, it's a cool thing. I, I, I like. It's a very niche thing to drop one hundred and eighty dollars on. Uh, but uh, no, I and I love that it looks like an old TV. That's good. Like, yeah, yeah. The the uh, the uh, the pen does like it look like a TV with an antenna, doesn't it? So mm -hmm. that's good. <laughs> That's good. So, so you pay the price, and does that include your games? At this it point, it sounds like it. Yeah. Um, oh. Details are. They said that details are intentionally kept secret until each game is automatically downloaded onto the device. So you get mm. two games over twelve weeks. That looks fun. That looks fun. Mm -hmm. Awesome. 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 Um, cool. Chilla, what do you want to talk about? Do I want to talk about? Do you want to talk more? about? Is there anything else from WWDC? I think probably we should get to first. Yeah, one other thing from WWDC that I thought was interesting was they're bringing FaceTime kind of across platforms. Really? Yeah. So wait, you, kind of. <clears throat> kind of. Um, oh, where'd that link go? Yeah, I, I gave a... the wrong. I gave the wrong link. Okay. Well, well that's okay. I'll just. Uh, I'll so, do... so they're going to be there, but it's going to be web based. So it's going to be browser based. <clears throat> So you're going to be able to connect with friends that don't have iOS devices, from what I read, um, over over kind of like a web browser, um, and it's gonna to me it's gonna be super useful with a couple family members that are still running the green bubble devices. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I don't think they said anything from what I from what I read. They didn't say anything about bringing iMessage across platform, but there's a couple other things you're going to get with FaceTime. You're going to be able to screen share from iOS. So you want to share your screen. It's going to actually link in with what's playing on your Apple TV and you can do like group watches um, across different applications. So whether you're uh, HBO Max or Apple TV Plus, I saw a couple other vendors and uh, maybe Hulu, um, but you'll be able to share um, with friends what you're watching. Um, but more importantly, you'll be able to do it across platforms, which I thought was pretty darn amazing. That's awesome. That's good. It, one more, one more kind of brick in it, right? Um, to bring it over. So yeah, mm -hmm. Android friends too. That's good. That's good. That's good. I mean, I mean, how many people, you know, kind of live on the the Facebook Messenger, and I think this will cross over, you know, eventually you wear them down. Eventually you wear them down. <laughs> oh, gee. So what else is going on here, uh, Katie? You got There's a. There's one more. Oh, There's go ahead. There's one more WWDC thing uh, mm -hmm. that I thought was interesting. I saw an article um, about Focus, and Focus is supposed to, you know, help you use your phone usage, and you know focusing on things away from your phone and, and not being on your phone so much. And uh, um, the art, I love the way that this article posts. It says, um, Apple came this close to bring back the away message. So <laughs> essentially when you enable focus, there's a notification that shows up at the bottom of your conversation that says, you know, it would say uh, Katie has enabled, uh, has notifications silenced with focus. Mm. So it's very, it's very, very bland. But and a lot of folks wanted uh, actual away messages, you know, where we put it in our song lyrics, letting people know exactly how our little emo hearts feel at the time. And because um, how else would you know how I was feeling about life without my away message? Uh, but it was brought up that the AIM away message started out as just a basic away, the word away, and then it expanded to an actual away message. So there is still a chance we will get a full away message for our text with focus. I, no, I think that's good because I, I, I have like, like, you know, you know, think about when you're on vacation or I'm on like one of these business trips, it's like, like, I, I'm literally looking at messages now where it's like, hey, did you get that thing I sent you thing? Right. And it's like, well, I may have literally not seen it for three days. You know what I mean? So like, to and 
you know, putting something on email, you know, helps to, that expectation. Cause if it's like, if I didn't get to it, it's probably cause I saw there was a message, but don't want to address it because I am busy. And, but then it's like, Hey, this guy didn't respond to me for like three days. He's obviously ignoring me. Right. Because you infer mm -hmm. in, in most cases without communication, you infer the worst thing. Mm -hmm. And that's how, <laughs> and that's how the unread feud starts you know, with whoever, you know, family, friends, business partners, whatever the case may be. So, um, so yeah, I, I, no, I think this is good. You know, it's just like, it, cause it says, Hey, I'm not dealing with anything right now, you know? And I think that's, <laughs> you know, and hopefully helps normalize that. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think the, so. I think it will do that. The, the one cool thing too, that I thought, I mean, as we're talking about, you know, the updates, the one thing that I thought was impressive, nobody is on, no devices are on the chopping block. So no matter how old your device is, um, as long as it can run iOS 14, it, as of right now, you can run iOS 15. So the, nobody's oh. gonna have, nobody's gonna be forced into new nice. devices necessarily. Um, can I ask a question? And, and I don't know, you, you probably have a newer one, so maybe you're not in, in the view of this, because I keep hearing about, it. I literally heard somebody today talk about the issue with their, um, with their, uh, um, <laughs> sorry, I had to go, I had to, I had to touch ID, whatever we were purchasing, what, what's happening right now? <laughs> so, um, multitasking, uh, but no, it sounds like people with the series threes are having troubles with updates. I did hear that from the watch perspective, I did hear the series three was having some issues. I don't know if it was an issue with the update. They're obviously still selling them. So I don't also know. Yeah. Those so are on the, the chopping block. The, the only thing I heard was Apple's formal recommendation was reset the device back to factory defaults and just reset it up from your I phone. mean, I guess there's not much you need to reset up if you reset up your, your watch, right? It's an only right. thing to do every time. Um, somebody else was saying like, my watch has been sitting, oh, actually, I think it's, I think it's Rob that's with us on the trip. He was like, my, my watch has been sitting here for like two hours, right. On updates or something. Um, I haven't noticed it. Like whenever I do it, I'm like, yeah, this needs to sit here for a while. And, and I haven't like seen, noticed lost functionality or anything. Um, whenever anything is weird, it's just because I'm in the elements, you know what I mean? So, you know, kind of one of those kinds of situations. So, um, but, uh. Yeah, I, I don't know, something to watch out for. And I don't know, I, I, yeah, they're still selling it and it's been recommended. Like I say, yeah, grab the Series 3 if all you want is a smartwatch and wanted to be, do the Apple thing, right? I mean, now granted, my reminders haven't worked for a year or so. <laughs> so on my watch, which I miss. Um, so, and I've reset it a couple of times and it just hasn't fixed it yet. It just won't connect when, when I try to do something like that, so. But I, 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 I'm probably on the tail end of uh, this, just in its age of and of what I put it through. So, anyways, um, I wanted to kick to something specific here. I saw in here we we're talking. Hey, I'm traveling right now, so I'd love to hear what Airbnb is going to Airbnb is going to do because that is something I've definitely used over the years here as I've been traveling. Um, everything from bachelor party weekends to uh, 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 stays for this trip to make things a little more interesting, right? Yeah. So Air, AB, Airbnb um, recently had a, a big, not like a press conference, but they had a video and announcement that uh, the pandemic has totally changed the way we travel in that a lot of us are now able to work remotely, that um, people are spending more time on locations because they can and they can work from those locations. If you, you know, I'm going to be working on my computer, I could do that in the beach. Uh, and that makes everything so much better. Working on a beach on a computer is okay with me on my, that's mm -hmm. what I did a little bit on my trip. Mm -hmm. So Airbnb has definitely updated a few things that they are doing. Um, so, uh, wait, wait, oh, I'm still going down the yeah. numbers, apparently. <laughs> oh, wow, I'm finding the numbers. How many are there? 103 updates. Mm -hmm. What's interesting, it looked like was one of those, there, there was something up do they actually have a rating on, so there's host testimonials. Can I rate your internet? That's, that's what I want. Like how good Yo, is the yeah. internet at this Airbnb? That's something I need. Cause that's something I want on hotels. Okay. Cause like what, the, the internet connection is rocking here, but when I was in Lakeland, Florida, my hotel was questionable. 
like functional but not great and and the myself sir i don't know at&t and all of florida won't get beyond three bars for me i don't know what the deal is uh but um it was just like it was just not useless but it was just frustrating you know and to be kind of pigeonholed in like okay i have to do this high level data thing and the internet is you know kind of thing so i guess the answer is bring your own internet but you never know I need a bandolier of my fives. That's what I need. <laughs> T-Y-O-M. And I am getting some looks from the uh, <laughs> life of the show. <laughs> you need to make under the my fives on the bandolier. It needs to be like a solar panel array. Oh, yeah. because so You could also charge the my fives while they're I on mean, the bandolier. I mean, I mean, yeah, we need to charge the, the bandolier of my fives with the solar panels. But the problem is you, you like solar panels get hot right so now i mean we just put a little insulation under there and you'll be okay so now i'm walking on the track wait why would i have the myfies on the track that doesn't make much sense actually but uh well i could I, one thing we're doing but uh, anyways um <laughs> listen i almost burnt myself with dave ponder's crystal ball thing trying to do something in the desert okay i almost started i might have almost started a forest fire okay or a desert fire, or I don't know how that works. I don't know. Do cactuses burn? I don't know. Um, but anyways, there's a lot of sand. I mean, it would take care of the rattlesnakes, I guess. Um, anyways, the point is, Airbnb <laughs> has some updates. Yes, so Airbnb <laughs> has some updates. <laughs> and I can tell you that um, booking my trip, um, I only did it a few weeks ago, it was before Airbnb had these updates. Uh, Verbo, V-R-B-O, was the way I found where I was going. Because Airbnb, Airbnb at the time made it hard to find places to stay, because it's very lo- it, w- it was very location specific, date specific. That and now they've added these kind of features where they have um, a little bit more um, searching, like a little bit flexible with the destination, uh, as far as dates, a little bit of flexibility. Like if if you come out a day earlier, here's what the op- options are. If you stay a day later, or you know how you kind of if you can do that with your trip. You might have some more options. Um, they, so, they, oh, sorry. So this idea of travel being a little more fluid, right? Yes. Because I mean, that's one thing I'm discovering is like specifically with events right now. Like I just got the go no go on an event here in Michigan 30 days from now because that's how we operate, right? Mm-hmm. So and things can change and and days can add on and everything like that. And, and everybody's experiencing a version of this or just an aloofness because now they're untethered, I suppose. Um, but I, mean, I don't know how many times I wanted to check out a night early because of some reason, uh, uh, change of plans I would like to and just said, like, like, no, you're whatever, you know, so that, that I think that's a great solution for that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and like, and so then some of the things it's the other cool thing is like they've changed the places you can stay like the options like there's castle there is treehouse <laughs> i'm looking at this treehouse i, I want to work in the treehouse the, the, now that's the right? treehouse half gigabit internet yeah. is there a tiny house oh there's definitely tiny house come on it's an airbnb staple mm-hmm. right oh yeah absolutely so yeah i'm trying to see what the whole are all tiny are all tiny houses on wheels no, there's some tiny see. houses. No, because like there was the, there was a whole HGTV show about like people building tiny houses all over the place. And like one person I, built it like up on a mountain. I guess, I guess I'm only aware of, 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 I guess, mutual friends that have them in the city and, and they, they're, they're obviously on wheels. So mm-hmm. I, I think they, they probably have to be for regulations and permits. Yeah. And I stuff. think that's, that's a thing. If you're, if you're around here, it needs to be, it's a mobile camp. home Yeah. versus a, here's a mobile home that just doesn't move anywhere, you know, kind of situation, <laughs> which I know is a lot in the desert, by the way. And I always wonder, like, do they buy that property or do they just park that there and nobody bothers them? Like both seem possible, right? Yeah. Like when you're out there. So and I'm talking like Arizona, New, New Mexico. You're just like, hey, here's like, here's like, you know, here's a motorhome. And it looks like it's been here for 20 to 30 years. And, uh, and that's okay. And it's just like, is this an address? Do they get mail? <laughs> Are their property taxes? Do they have a know. PO box? Do they have a PO box? What happens here? You know? <laughs> so, I mean. How do they get internet? The, the, I mean, the answer is no. <laughs> on that one so i mean obviously so um but no yeah that's yes, yes sorry i've been living i i'm living this entire week on a gigabit bus 
uh, for this job. And it's and I started looking up prices for Fios Gigabit, and because by God, <laughs> 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 we just slinging gigabytes all over the place. Um, so, anyways, that's my thing. Listen, I haven't had much sleep the last couple of weeks. <laughs> I've it's been go, it's been a thing, and but it's okay because because Katie. I have somebody along for the trip. Yes, wife of the show is along for the trip. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. And I'm not saying what is more fantastic because she's looking right at me and give me a look. And I feel mm -hmm. very judged right now. Okay. And, and but I'm not gonna but I'm not gonna push it because she's the one ordering dinner. Uh, but I got a little friend, and I know we're gonna have to invite Amanda back on the show so we can grow goo together. <gasps> Grogu buddy. My Grogu buddy. And if you've been following my uh, social medias, you've been seeing he's been going on a trip. He did. Uh, I did have to stop him from peeing in a plant at the Orlando airport. Um, but uh, so, uh, yes. And I and, and and actually, I even realized being a now Disney character, how ironic this was with something with the project that we're doing right now that I can't talk about on air. But uh, so, <laughs> I don't know. So he's cool. So they have a whole... Um, they had a whole rack of it in the uh, Disney Springs because I can't afford D Disney World, um, which is basically the free buy stuff from Disney uh, area. Uh, <laughs> so they have the Star Wars outpost thing. So I'm going around looking around there and they had this like rack of like uh, uh, knit. Is this officially knit? Like it looks like a stocking, you know, a cap kind of thing. Um, but they had all the characters and I was like, I've been kind of like, oh, I, you know, I, I want, I mean, who doesn't want a Grogu? And, uh, but they also have, where would what Star Wars thing did like a kid have like a stormtrooper like doll? Did, did, have you seen this? Like it wasn't yeah. Mandalor was it wasn't Mandalorian or was it like a like maybe a Clone Wars thing? Like like, like what am I like it, it was, was like, it was it um what was the one with Jyn Erso? Was it a Jyn? Er uh, you talking about Forrest Wicker? Rogue, Rogue One. Did, did yeah. she did when she was a little girl? Was it her or when? Oh yeah, because she went she to hide little... and she had her. She had her little. Uh, yeah, her little. I think uh, that was what it was. What it was from Stormtrooper Buddy, um, my Stormtrooper and me, uh, uh, situation. <laughs> so no, thank you, thank you, because they have they had that. <laughs> so and uh, you know because it, it was the only one. It was just like like oh no, that's that's from the show. Um, but uh, but of course this guy spoke to me. And um, I had to get him, and you know he wasn't terribly obscenely priced. He's no, he's no build a bear or anything. And also, he doesn't have a perturbed look on his face. But I will tell you, and I should have taken a picture of it. There was some kind of Yoda thing, and it was like kind of a squat pop furry Yoda, and something was wrong with it. Like they gave it this nose, and just made everything wrong. Was it the original it. artist conception? Is it? Is that what that's about? Um. Yeah, I think if you go back like to the original, like pre Empire Strikes Back being filmed, like storyboards and artist conception, I think there may have been. He was more troll. -looking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. This is this is relatable to it, but I can't tell you that it is. Uh, I don't. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna pull this up for you guys. Um, man. I, I mean, there was there was more kind of caricature to it, yeah. So it's, it looks like I mean, Yoda looks like an old lady with a big nose in this one, um, but uh, yeah. So th that's a concept series from, or is this is this the original? No, I think this is the original one, the little trolley guy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So no, I don't think it was necessarily a a take on that. It feels I it just felt like it was there, you know, they were doing these weird shapes to them, and that's just how they and it was like a plush thing too. So also interesting, they have a whole section in there where it's everything you could think of to dress like a Jedi Empire Admiral. Like it was like here's a row of belts, here's the here's some cloaks to be a Jedi and all this stuff that you can purchase. Like it was a whole like corner of their um of their uh spaceport. Uh, situation there so it was, it was i mean that and that is I'm like listen i want to go to galaxy's edge really bad if i'm going to disney for anything it's going to be the star wars thing okay until they put marvel landed which you know it's happening <laughs> so as soon as that deal with universal studios is out we get in our marvel land disney world um and apparently wwe i don't know <laughs> so um but uh no yeah 
So that was my that was my fun time there. It's nice because there's a place in Orlando that is just like I can go and it's familiar because I, I that's where I went last year and just like I don't have to like pay thirty five dollars for parking like the Universal Studios version of it, and uh, and I can find little guys like my podcast go- Rogu. So we'll put it over. I'm gonna can put him on the light. You know what? He's gonna go up here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> nope. And out. Okay. No. Nope. We'll take care of that later. Um, what's next? <laughs> Are we at pumpkin time yet? <laughs> uh, one more story. We'll, we'll bounce out of here. All right. Let's talk about. Um, so TechCrunch is a pretty popular tech blog, and I've heard of them. Uh, yeah. Most of they, they heard of these. They were featured in the f- the finale of this first season of Silicon Valley. I recently rewatched. <laughs> I forgot about that. Sorry about the word salad. But- uh, they're coming, uh, they're high, well, they're not coming to Pittsburgh, but they're highlighting <gasps> Pittsburgh. <gasps> I think we have some and, writers in town for them. Oh, we might. I mean, yeah, uh, June I mean, 29th. So, good. oh no, I'll just say it's June 29th. So we're going to start seeing all of our friends talking about it. So what's, um, so what, wait, wait, what's happening? Oh, the city spotlight's happening June 29th. Correct. Okay. So you can watch it. It's free to watch. You can register. Very exciting stuff. Um, oh, so this president is speaking. Mm-hmm. So this is like the tech, tech crunch event. They, they spelled Pittsburgh yeah. wrong. Yes. Oh, where? So, two things. Okay, go through the article. There, Pittsburgh is spelled correctly and in, incorrectly throughout the article, which oh, the, with and without the H. These are supposed yeah. to be smart people. Come on. Okay. So yeah. Oh this no. Is a cool thing. Oh no. Pittsburgh. Yeah. Oh no. What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing, yeah. tech crunch? That's it. So, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay, no, it gets worse. Come on. Um, oh, it gets worse. Yeah. Thank you, you know, thank you, TechCrunch, for you know doing a city spotlight in Pittsburgh. When you click on register the event, um, that's right. On June 29th, the TechCrunch City Spotlight is heading to the Iron City, the River City, what? Blitzburg for you Steeler fans, and the Pit. P I T T. That's the Pit. The like Pit. The armpit. Nobody the calls pit. it that. We're not the yeah. Pit. We are the pit, apparently. The River City. I don't eat I don't isn't that St. Louis or something? <laughs> like, I forget oh. what city's like the River City. But it's not us. Iron City. I've never What I mean, is the River think... City? You're talking about River yeah. City Ransom, the video game? That is Memphis Maybe. is the River City. Oh Memphis. Okay, Memphis is the river. I knew there was it's not us. But uh <laughs> yeah. Like, so ah. it was I was like, I don't know. But yeah, it's really funny because they start out, if you click on register, it's calling all Yinzers. TechCrunch is virtually heading to Pittsburgh. And then it just, like I said, it just kind of falls off at that point with calling us all the random things. Um, yeah. There's no room for, there's no room for name calling. Obviously, we need to sell us with a pierogi race. Yeah. Wow. So okay. it, it's pretty funny. I mean, like it's it's cool that they're they're definitely you know yes talking about us and how cool we are. But um, oh, they also mentioned uh, Fetterman's uh, Sheets fandom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but did you like the picture I sent? By the way, Katie, uh, the the anti Wawa picture I posted. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just like flipped off a Wawa in Florida. Although I realized how much in danger I was, considering how many how many. How many times I saw police have people in handcuffs in the area? And I'm just like, oh, well, uh, you, know, you got to get out of Florida. So this has been a weird day. So, but um, anyways, no, yes, uh, uh, F Wawa and thank you TechCrunch. Learn where you're going because I have a feeling. Don't read the comments. In their case, do. So, excellent. Um, yeah. I think that's all. I think that's an awesome cast. I think we did. We did it, guys. <laughs> we will be hypothetically back in the studio for the awesome cast next week. Um, and then something else is going to happen the week after that. We're going to have that conversation probably after we go off air. Uh, so <laughs> uh, with that, Chilla is at Chilla on the Twitters. Josh Chill on the Facebooks. Yo, and that the K Dutters on, no, at K Dutters. I'm confusing people. I'm sorry. Stay on brand. Uh, on the Twitters, and you're on the Instagrams, and you yep, have, you have beach and putt putt pictures. Mm-hmm. So, although most of those are probably in stories, huh? 
yeah, I think I'm going to have to make that a highlight. Yeah. Like, I think, like, oh, yeah. Pet, pet tour. oh yeah. Oh, I need to go back. I got to go back and highlight my, my Grogu series too. Yeah. So I forgot that that's a thing. I haven't been, I don't know. So, and uh, follow follow what's going on on Sorgatron and uh, also fi- follow sci- Psychic Media Services uh, on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter. Uh, that's where I'm putting a lot of what's going on <laughs> for a while, uh, especially on these trips. Um, so between um, see, see some stuff from, uh, I did, we did Arrow Design, hanging out with the fantastic crew, uh, Lockheed Martin. It is, listen, I will listen to geeks geek out about something, even though I barely understand it for a very long time. And when that thing happens to be fighter jets and space rockets, SpaceX rockets, you got me. Okay. Uh, so it, it's really cool to hear the, 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 see like engineers just geeking out and problem solving and, and that kind of thing about the, this. You know, and uh, a whole different version of that is happening out here on the course for auto drive. And then I'm going to absolutely melt looking at the forecast for formula in, in uh, formula in um, um, Las Vegas. So also, also, I'm going to Las Vegas and I don't know, Matt Light might be coming too. I don't know. I, I just think you're happening on the, Insta- on, uh, on the social medias. So we'll see if I survive. And um, and this has been your awesome cast. I don't know what to do because there's no buttons to push other than I guess stop this one here. Hold on a second. Thank you. You have been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.